Scott Moonville. So I came today to speak to the go-getters, the goal-setters, those who are passionate about getting things done, and the dreamers. If that's you, raise your hands up real high for me. I didn't come to lecture you guys, but I did come to provide fuel to get us through. See, they say that it's lonely at the top. But who determines where the top is? My top is not your top. Your top is not my top. But it's lonely at the top. See, one of the things about myself is that I'm always thinking. So I got to thinking. Most of the time, when we say that it's lonely at the top, we're not at the top. So, I got to thinking. It's not lonely at the top. Let me tell you guys where it's lonely at. It's not lonely in the beginning, and it's not lonely in the end when we make it to our top. Where it's lonely at, it's right here in the middle, where it all goes down, where our character is shaped, in that place that we call the process. If you guys are, are, are watching me now and you see me now, I'm standing inside of a circle. I'm standing inside of my process. And one of the first things that I learned and meeting my vision halfway was that I had to embrace the process. And I'm just going to keep it honest with you guys. I can't stand the process. <laughs> I hate the process. There's too much manure that I have to maneuver through in the process. There's too much stuff in the process. There's too much negativity in the process. See, I need to ask you guys a question because I got to thinking. Can you jumpstart your car with two positives? If my wife is watching this, she's probably getting excited because I'm talking about cars and I'm not the car guy. She's the car person. I'm the interior decorator. <laughs> but can you start your car with two positives? No. In order to start your car, you need a positive and you need a negative. So guess what? I got to thinking. If I need a positive and a negative to jumpstart a car, how do I expect to not have any negativity in the process to fuel me to my destination? So the second thing that I learned while meeting my vision halfway was that I had to accept all of the things within the process that I could not change. See, I have a music academy sponsored by Rap Snacks, Rap Snacks Foundation, and there's two things that I tell my students all the time. I say, control what you can't control, and what you can't, don't. The other thing that I tell them is everything is subject to change. Everything is subject to change. See, inside of my process, this is it. This is where I'm at. This is what it feels like, too. Inside of my process, 
I've made many wrong decisions. I've made many wrong turns. I've taken many detours on the way to meet my vision halfway. But one of the main things that happened in the process and in those moments is I kept on going. All of you that put your hand up a few seconds ago are dreamers, go-getters, you're builders. There are things that you have to do that can, that can change this community, that can change your community, that can change your life. We're in the process together. And I just came today to encourage you guys to keep on going. See, when my business partner, 300, and I was in a building for a whole year with no students, I had to keep on going. When my wife told me I needed to move out of that facility, here's the tricky part. I listened. I usually don't listen. I listened, then I had to keep on going. When they tried to sue me, I had to keep on going. When my son was on trial, I had to keep on going. When they sentenced my son to life without parole, I had to keep on going. When my daughter's boyfriend was murdered, I had to keep on going. When my daughter wakes up having nervous breakdowns and screaming, I have to keep on going. When my oldest daughter is frustrated about her business, in the midst of my process, I have to encourage her and then I have to keep on going. When my wife and my two grandkids was in a little Mitsubishi at the light and a Jeep ran into the back of them and all the glass in the car was shattered. Y'all know what I had to do? You know what I did? I kept on going. But I also got to thinking, if I'm doing all of this, what is my vision doing so that it can meet me halfway? All of you have heard this. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. I believe that. I believe that when you write your visions and your goals down, and you speak them into the atmosphere, they take on a life of its own that your actions and your decisions control. Every time you make the right decision, your vision takes a step towards you. It never stops. We're the only ones that stop. See, yes, the journey is long. But really, the journey really isn't that long. It's the decisions that we make inside of the process on the journey that makes it long. In order to meet your vision halfway, you have to embrace the process. You have to accept the things within the process that you cannot change. And you have to keep going. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. But we have to embrace the process, accept the things that we cannot change, and keep going. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to say it again. We have to embrace the process, accept the things within the process that we cannot change, and we have to keep going. 
Now, I'm going to say it one more time, but this time I'm going to count to three. And I need you to act like you got something that you have to keep going for. Because on the count of three, I want you, we're all going to say keep going. And we're going to all say, we're going to all say it together. Because after all, it takes a nation of millions to hold me back? No. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. I know we ate. I know you guys are, you, you, I get it. But right here, in this moment, on the count of three, if you have something to keep going for, I need you to forget how good you look. I need to forget what you just ate, and I need you to act like, maybe you need to act like, you need to say it like you need to keep on going. So we need to embrace the process, accept the things that we cannot change, and one, two, three, keep going. I'm Claude Whitfield. That's my time. Thank you.